I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan and I I was thinking Hey guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see in the title, I'm gonna be doing a what I eat in the day vlog style video. Let me move the camera so that I'm facing the window. All right, this is better. So um, I had a very lazy morning this morning. I could not get up and I'm off today too, so I don't really have anything to do. So I figured I might as well film something. So I wanted to film a what I eat in the day and I wanted it to be as realistic as possible. Today I probably am not going to eat breakfast and I usually don't unless I'm very hungry waking up or I have to because I know I'm not going to be, be able to eat for a little bit. But I mean I'm not hungry right now. I have my coffee and I drank apple cider vinegar and a cup of water and that's pretty good to hold me over until maybe noon. Uh, it's 9 o'clock right now by the way. So right now I'm just going to be sitting on my computer, probably preparing for next week. I'm going to start a different rotation. I'm going to be starting dentistry. So um, just kind of prep for that, make sure I have everything I need, maybe study a little bit. Oh, also real quick, I try to drink my whole eight glasses of eight ounce water every day. I actually try to drink more than that. So this is my like little water jug that I have a little glass straw in and I fill that up first thing in the morning and I'll just kind of drink throughout the day. I usually try to drink two to three of these throughout the day, and that's about, I don't know, like 80 ounces or something like that, I'm not really sure. Okay guys, so lunch is this really delicious vegan eggplant parm. So for this, I just cut up my eggplant into slices. I like to keep the peel on, the skin on it. Um, and then I sprayed both sides of the eggplant slices with cooking spray generously. You can also use olive oil. And then I just lightly salted just one side. I didn't really need to salt the whole thing and let it kind of drain. So this I'm going to put in the oven at 375 for about 15, 20, I, even, I think it was like 25 minutes. So I moved on to making the tofu ricotta, which I got the recipe from Cheap Lazy Vegan. Check her out. It came out so yummy. So basically a block of drained tofu. I used extra firm, I think, and then half a lime, teaspoon of salt, like one of those frozen basil cubes, a ton of garlic powder, and a really large amount of nutritional yeast. Just blend that together for about one minute. Um, and the texture of it is truly like ricotta and it just it tastes so good and it tastes like actual cheese So that's going to be like one of my layers for my eggplant parm So to assemble it the way I layered mine was I started off with marinara sauce or just pasta sauce I just used jarred pasta sauce throwing a layer of eggplant on top some more pasta sauce Some more eggplant and then that's when I added my tofu ricotta So I put a generous amount on there patted it down and then I ended up adding some oregano and black pepper on top of that layer as well. And then I also had some Beyond Meat crumbles in the freezer, so I decided to add whatever I had left of that on that cheese layer as well. And then I just continue to assemble it. So despite all of that tofu ricotta that I used, I had a good amount left over and I saw that Cheap Lazy Vegan used it for like sandwiches and like as a topping and things like that. So the lasagna I put in the oven covered with foil for about 15 to 20 minutes at still 375 and then I just ate it with like a small size salad and then um, sea salt rice cakes. 
and it was delicious. As you can see, I'm scarfing it down and it was actually very filling. I was full for a good couple of hours. Hello guys. So I am having a snack right now, which let me show you, is just some fruits that I cut up earlier and I just put in like a little plastic container. Um, it's nectarines and two or three of those tiny apricots that I get from Trader Joe's. I need my salt fix. I'm gonna have some of these red hot Uts chips. They're vegan, but in no way does that mean that they're healthy. So definitely only gonna have like a couple of these, but if you wanna try them out, they're really, really good. They are on like the spicier end. Um, which is why I love them. So I'm just gonna eat that right now, probably watch a little bit of Netflix. I've been editing this video for a while now, so hopefully have that up by the weekend. Dinner tonight was a really easy veggie stir fry with some fried rice. So I'm just starting off with some water and adding frozen cauliflower, some baby carrots, and just kind of letting that thaw. And then to that I'm adding portobello mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and some jalapenos that I chopped up and kind of just cooking it all together in that water. I'm adding liquid aminos, which is essentially just a healthy version of soy sauce and really letting the veggies soak in that. And then I found this vegetarian chicken at H Mart, which is so amazing. This is like my fifth time buying it. I love it. So I'm just piecing that apart into it and then adding garlic, ginger, and onion powder just as my seasoning and really stirring it together. In the same pot, I'm gonna be cooking my fried rice. This is frozen from Trader Joe's, which is why this meal is so simple. And this literally you just cook until it's ready in some oil or water. So that is essentially my dinner. I added some seaweed flakes and sesame seeds on top and it made enough for some leftovers also. So I just ate that while watching some TV. That is my what I eat in a day realistic version. So I really only cooked like one meal from scratch, the eggplant parm. Um, the dinner was just super easy to throw together. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope you guys try out the recipes. They were amazing. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Cause I, I can't get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind.